Under this, we all remember the leaked audio that rocked City Hall late last year. Three L.A. City Council members and a prominent labor leader making racist and derogatory remarks. Those remarks coming during a 2021 meeting centered around redistricting. In the aftermath of that scandal, State Senator Maria Alana Durazo proposed legislation to remove the City Council's influence over the once every decade redistricting process and instead establish an independent council to have final approval over district maps. Durazo discussed that legislation with us in December on the special report. That commission would be um, uh, not have any communication, uh, would not be former employees, would not be lobbyists, um, not have connections with either party, any of the parties, and would just say, they will decide based on communities of interest, based on federal law, the Voting Rights Act, all those are issues. That's how it's done at the county level of Los Angeles. That's how it's done at the state level. We want a similar process to be done at the city level. For more on this, we are joined by LA City Council President Paul Krikorian. Mr. President, thanks for being back with us tonight. Hi, Alex. Hi, Marla. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. See you. So, State Senator DeRazzo making the point Look, you guys haven't earned our trust, especially after hearing what was on those tapes. Why should we trust you? Why shouldn't the power be given to somebody else outside of the system? It should be. I've been saying that for uh, well over a year now. In fact, uh, Councilmember Rahman and I introduced a motion uh, more than a year ago to do exactly this, to create an independent redistricting commission to take the redistricting pr process entirely out of the hands of city council with no involvement of the council whatsoever. Unfortunately, the former council president did not allow that motion to move forward to even have a hearing. So when I became council president, uh, one of my very first orders of business was to create an ad hoc committee on governance reform. And one of the first agenda items of that ad hoc committee is taking up this motion to create an independent redistricting commission. So I don't think that uh, there's any disagreement at all between me and, and the majority of the council uh, and what uh, Senator Durazo and others are saying. We absolutely need to have an independent redistricting commission because the system that we have now is badly broken and really, in some respects, the worst of all possibilities what? because we have what purports to be a commission but in fact, it's anything but independent. It's influenced by council members. It's influenced by outside political interests who have their own agendas. Um, it's not citizen driven at all. And so we just need to scrap it and start with something new. Okay, well, th then, of course, there's sort of the elephant, or not so much of an elephant anymore, elephant in the room, that issue of Kevin DeLeon, who was the only person involved, uh, who is still active on the council. So do you worry that his presence gives this process less credibility? Um, no. Uh, today, uh, we had a vote, uh, in fact, on um, this exact issue, and there was... A robust discussion in council. Mr. De Leon is not serving on any committees right now, and my ad hoc committee on governance reform will lead this effort, but it'll lead it in a way that encompasses the public's input. And that's why it's so important that the council take responsibility for fixing this problem, because we have the ability to to engage the public, uh, to have open and transparent hearings on this, whereas the state legislature you know, meets in the state capitol and doesn't have that kind of robust public engagement. So uh, I think it's very important that we have a public driven process which results in a proposal for the 2024 ballot that will be voted on by the people of Los Angeles and not imposed upon us uh, by the state legislature. So is that what you see as the biggest difference between the two? I mean, what, what, what would it practically mean difference for actual voters here if they go with your proposal instead of Senator DeRazzo's proposal? Oh, well, first of all, I don't think there's any particular substantive uh, dispute. That's not the issue. The issue is who is going to create the solution. I think the people of Los Angeles should create the solution, and that's why it has to be something that is charter reform that's on the 2024 ballot. So between now and the 2024 ballot, we will be doing that work of engaging stakeholders across uh, Los Angeles and engaging the 
the uh, nonprofit sector, all of the stakeholders who have an interest in this in order to develop a proposal to put on the 2024 ballot. So I don't think there's any particular substantive, substantive dispute there. It's a question of how we get there and how involved the public is going to be. And the city council is the way that the public has that engagement. De Leon has been actively showing up. We understand that there were some tense moments today between him and uh, council member uh, Hugo Soto Martinez. Uh, council President Krikorian, how do you describe the overall morale of the council right now and its ability to get work done? Well, needless to say, the last six months or so have been a very trying time for City Hall. And uh, we've faced a, a real crisis of confidence, a, a crisis situation that um, has shaken all of us throughout the city. And uh, those recorded conversations were very difficult to hear and I think they um, they impacted everybody very viscerally across Los Angeles so needless to say we're still experiencing the repercussions of that that being said um, we have an opportunity to really turn a new page now five of our 15 council members are brand new um, we have three new citywide elected officials and I feel as though we're all um, working very aggressively now to turn the page to start fresh and to get those you know those crises of of the last of 2022 behind us so that we can move forward with a council that is more responsive to the people uh, more transparent um, more uh, cooperative and um, engaging with people who may have divergent views uh, that has been my goal as council president and i think in the time uh, that I've been in that role. We've really seen tremendous progress in uh, turning the council around and, and moving forward. We've accomplished some really important uh, progressive uh, things around uh, tenant protections and uh, eliminating the uh, oil and gas uh, drilling here in Los yeah. Angeles and a number of other really important steps that are an indication that this council is going to move forward and not get mired into in that horrendous scandal of the past. Yeah, and it'll be interesting to see what happens when it comes to this particular issue of drawing the lines. Mm -hmm. Clearly, you didn't have the votes when Nuri Martinez was council president. It'll be interesting to see now if you have the votes now that you're council president uh, and things are moving forward. Um, thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate it, Paul Gregorian. It's a great pleasure to be with you. Thanks very much. Thank you.